Are you tired of hearing about all these people online talking about how they're making money from their laptop? Are you tired of seeing countless side hustle videos online but no one actually says how to do them? And are you tired of finding out if you want to learn secrets of this business that you have to buy some course? Well, in this video, in the next 30 minutes or less, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually build your own dropshipping store, make a logo, find a business name, find profitable products, and show you how you can market them too. This will be everything you need to get up off your feet. No fluff, just the steps that actually matter. So enough of the intros, let's get start building this store. So before you can get started, obviously you need to just sign up for a new Gmail. Don't use your personal Gmail just because you're gonna, once you obviously you start making a bunch of sales, you'll get so many emails. So I just recommend making a completely new email. And then once you have that new Gmail, go ahead and navigate over to Shopify. And if you use my link below, you'll actually get three months of Shopify for just $1 and you don't even have to enter your credit card information in, so it's a win-win. Um, so yeah, save yourself $39 a month, and if you just wanna give it a go, use my link and you'll get it for $1. So just go ahead here and enter your new email address to start your free trial. So I've already just made one, so I named it not a Shopify guru at gmail.com, and let's start this free trial. And so you can go one by one filling these out, but it honestly really doesn't matter. You can just go ahead and skip everything because it doesn't make much of a difference to be honest. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go skip. And you can give a st store name now or later, it doesn't really matter. So you can see it's optional because you can just go in and change it any way later. So I'm just not gonna worry about this for now. And the reason is, is that I like to choose a store name once I know what niche we're selling the product in, uh, just because as you probably guess, we don't do general stores. I'm not gonna just name it like epicdeals.com because no one will fall for that anymore. I will believe your actual legitimate um, seller in uh, 2023 if you name yourself like epicdeals.com or how they used to do it back in like 2016 uh, when anything, that was the wild west back then. Um, and so yeah, just go ahead, United States, great. And then create a Shopify ID. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue with Google and we're in. And so this is what you're gonna get, completely brand new store. You can go ahead and select the plan straight away. Um, don't worry about that. Um, let's just go through and show you what you need to know and what's actually important because I know it can get a little bit overwhelming, but you can see here, orders, that's where your order's gonna show up products. That's where we're gonna actually have our first product. Um, and this is where you're gonna see if you have a line of products as well. Customers, um, this is where you start building a list. Content, you don't need to really worry about. Finances, obviously gonna be important later. And analytics, massively important. This is when you figure out how you can scale store or cut back on certain costs. Um, and so yeah, and here's just a few extra things I won't worry about for now. But the main thing we're gonna be worrying about and focus on today is the online store section specifically choosing a theme, customizing it, um, and building out your your page. So firstly, when it comes to themes, a lot of people have different ideas. A lot of people say you need to buy like the Beautify or really expensive themes. You don't need to. Um, almost, I know so many other Shopify sellers who've scaled businesses of six, seven, even, you know, probably even more than that. And a lot of them just use Sense. So I would just say, go ahead and just use Sense. Don't use the default theme just because it kind of sucks. So just go ahead, uh, get rid of Dawn and just install Sense here. Okay, and then we're just gonna hit publish to make it official. And there we go. And so let's take a look at what it looks like as of right now. So this is the default, what it's gonna look like. So you're gonna be able to put a main picture there, a little title description, here's your store, which is just called my store for now, and a few other things that we pretty much don't need and we're gonna get rid of. And so you can see all these different pages, which we're not gonna use either. We're just gonna use a home page, a order now page, which I'm gonna retitle soon here, a tracking page, and just some for the terms and conditions, because that's obviously very important when you're running something like this. Um, but let's go back. So once I have that set up, I just wanna do a bit of housekeeping to get it all going. So what we're gonna do is just navigate down to the settings tab right here. And this is gonna give general information about your store and a few different things that we can change in the back end. So not what the customer sees. Um, and so the first thing you can go through and change your plan or, and uh, something I do wanna mention about payments is that I would just activate and just keep Shopify payments for now. Don't activate the PayPal just because there, I have seen a lot of problems, especially with PayPal holding payments for a certain amount of time just to authorize that you're in fact a legit seller. But what this can do is back up, you know, receiving money from orders like crazy and then you're trying to fulfill it with your own money it gets a bit of a pain so just stick with the Shopify payments for now so just go ahead and click activate Shopify payments 
follow that through and it's super simple. Uh, what I wanna go through hit right here is two things. The first thing is the domain. So once we have the name of the store, we can go here and directly look for the domain. So I'm gonna come back to that into a minute after we figured out what the name of the store is gonna be. But this the first thing I wanna do, and this is kind of the boring thing, but it's super important, is just create your terms and conditions to obviously protect yourself and your assets. Um, so you can click create from template, which is just super nice. Just go through one by one and click create from template right here right here and so uh, create from template you can do that again see you can see it automatically fill it in I haven't got any information there but obviously you'll want to put this in and if you don't want to put your real phone number you can put a Google voice number in there and same with your physical address I would suggest you know once you get it going actually put a PO box not your actual home address or anything like that um, same with your shipping policy I'm gonna come back to that real soon but here just take a couple of minutes go through it's super nice they do it for you and this is just to protect yourself go ahead and you can see where it has like these add or subtract anything just going one by one and either add in your information you need or get rid of it out of here just super straightforward just spend a, you know 10 or so minutes and go through to make sure these little things are actually really important um, and so that's what we need for now we're going to come back here later when we update our shipping and um, and uh, shipping times. So uh, let's go back and now figure out what type of product we sell, which will ultimately de determine what type of store we're gonna be setting up here. And so you can use many different ways. You've probably seen a lot of people on TikTok talking about, you know, how you can just type in what Amazon finds and you know organic methods like that and while that does work it's a great method and if you don't want to spend any money that's that's a great way to do it just look what's trending on TikTok and just have a go um, for this uh, I'm personally going to go with a uh, trusted uh, supplier um, that you know I know well which is called Spocket now you're probably wondering what is Spocket I thought we'd be using AliExpress or Alibaba while that's fine to start out selling on AliExpress I really really don't recommend it just because of the shipping times and the quality issues and the problems that happens with selling from places like Alibaba or AliExpress. If you're just testing products out to find a winning one, that's fine. But if you want to turn this into a legit business, you cannot afford to be sending out products that take two months to get there or that break as soon as a customer ha holds it. It will ruin your reputation and those customers will never tell anyone about you or your products. And so I really, really recommend going with a trusted supplier. In this case, I have Spocket, and you can think of them as a network supplier. So they will actually go out and find those reliable sellers and vet them themselves. And they'll actually give you products that are actually sourced in the US as well. And so you can see this tab right here that says US and EU products. And there's a few benefits to this. Namely, the first one is faster shipping times. You can see that the shipping time is actually one to three days. So I don't know about you, but when you order products, especially from Amazon, you expect to be here within a few days, not two months. This will save so much heartache. And so that's one of the biggest reasons I go with this is, is that you can find products that ship in one to three days. Yes, it's gonna be slightly more expensive, but another thing you can count on is the quality. And if you have any problems, you can reach out to Spocket, who will be able to query your problems and sort it out before you know so much time elapses and you've got all these issues and too many orders to handle. I'm gonna show you how to integrate it into your actual Shopify store right now. So let's just head over to add apps right here. And so we're just gonna go here. You can open up the full store or you can just search in the search bar here. But there's a few apps I do wanna add um, to your store. You don't need a massive amount, but there are some that really generally do make a difference. So the first thing I'm gonna add is Spocket right here. And so it's this first one here and click that and click add app. And this will integrate directly into your store so we can import those products straight in. We don't need to do any copy and pasting or any of that nonsense. We can get the product directly from Spocket itself. And so you can see it's loaded already Spocket right in here. And so you can actually sign up to Spocket and use them for a free trial. Um, you know, you don't even need to put your credit card information. So I would just suggest trying them out. Now they did reach out and sponsor this video, but Spocket is massive. And I wouldn't suggest a company that I didn't believe in. Spocket is huge in the e-com space and one of the few trusted suppliers out there. So that's in my personal opinion. And so if you do wanna try them out, I highly recommend going down right now, 
sign up for a free trial you can try them out no credit card information i know you personally you'll probably love them just because of the quality of their products but again i'm going to let you make that informed decision just make sure you click my link down below in the description but let's go through and figure out how we can find a profitable product and i'm going to tell you about the five criteria right now just a quick detour i wanted to take 30 seconds just to let you know what you should be looking out for when searching for a potentially profitable product number one is it unique? Is it something that you can find down the store? Well, if it is, it's probably the, not the right product for you. Number two, can you make content with it? You need to be able to make content really, really easy. This is how you're actually gonna market your product, what we're gonna talk about later in this video. And number three, can you mark up by at least three times? You need to be able to mark your product by three times just to ensure that you have enough margin for profit, especially if you decide to run paid ads later. And of course, when you take into account taxes, which no one seems to like to talk about in here, but you do have to pay taxes on your profits. And number four, is it small, light, and safe? This plays into your shipping. Shipping's gonna cost a lot more if your product's heavy or big. This is why you wanna minimize potentially the size and the weight of your product to get as small as possible to be able to save on shipping and also time of shipping as well. Another aspect, you gotta make sure that it's safe. You don't want a product that could potentially harm someone and end up in a lawsuit or some sort of legal trouble. And the fifth and final one, is it a product that you can scale? Is it a product that you can potentially add additional products to to build a line out of? Is it a product that you can scale past six or even seven figures? Not something that's gonna go stale after a season or two either. So with those in mind, let's go through and find a product so I typically like to search for something in the beauty niche or the uh, woman's clothing just before I find their very motivated sellers either that or in the pet niche so I'm gonna click pets right here and this is going to be a very very scaled fast video just because I want to do this in under 30 minutes and not take a massive amount of time so just after a little bit of searching I've come across this product which I quite like it's a retractable makeup brush portable four-in-one travel brush set um, while you might think this is not the most original, I did do some research online on why you can get, you know, other portable ones. I didn't quite see one that was both in one, so I do think that is quite unique. And so if we just go through my list, I do think it hits everything it is. Small, light, portable, I can easily film with this. Um, it's definitely unique and it's definitely something I can scale up because I can add other beauty products to the line. So I, I definitely do think it hits all our criteria here. And you can see the listing price is $7.90 and the shipping is actually free in this item. And so you can see it says four to seven business days, which is amazing. That's exactly what we want. And I did do some cross-referencing to see what it would look like if we got it from AliExpress. And so you can see I found this one that's extremely similar if not the same this one you can get in a few different colors but it really doesn't matter you can see it's like a few dollars cheaper but um, it comes two months later so I'm filming this in April and this comes in June so it's about exactly two months uh, if you were to order which is a no-go but you can see this is selling well 900 plus orders so you know this is selling well and we will come back here later to grab those reviews but I'm gonna head back to uh, spock it right now what I'm gonna do is click add to import list right here and just like I said you can sign up and try it for free so just click the starter plan that's fine for most of you beginning out and click try for free and so if you do actually want to add it to the store you will have to type in a credit card I said at first no credit card that's if you just want to look around but if you do want to take the next step and actually add it to your store you do need to enter your credit card but again 14 day free trial. If you don't like it, you can always cancel. Then go ahead and click import list. And so you can see here, this is what we're gonna do to push it to our store. So I can go ahead right here or later and change some of the details. So I'm gonna click back out of that. Retractable makeup brush, four in one travel brush set. That's actually pretty good. Um, I will actually just go ahead and add a hyphen in there. Um, but you know, I could change that little bit but I can always come back to that later um, and so you can see that yeah I can make it part of a collection here we go in description you can see all the features here I'm actually just gonna get rid of all that because I don't like any of that description and I'm gonna change it later and here are the four variants you can see the different colors black pink green white um, sales price is there and so here's we're going to set our price and so you can see it says we get a five dollar profit and uh but that's not actually 100 percent accurate so i'm actually going to sell this for 19.99 and change these all to 19.99 
just so we can get a healthy profit. And so when we're gonna say compare ad, that just means when it's on its store, it's gonna show like $24.99 and there's gonna be a cross at it and then it's gonna say it's real price. So I can compare it at $24.99. Don't go crazy, don't say it's like $100 because that's just not believable. So I'm just gonna compare it at $24.99 right here. So we can get a $12 um, profit per product sale. And so obviously if you start running ads, that will go down. That's why I increased it slightly. But ideally here, you want something that you increase two to three X, ideally three X, but in this case, we're getting about two and a half X. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click push all the stuff. Actually, no, one second, I'm gonna go to images and I'm gonna get rid of this one just cause it doesn't look very good. Um, and that one, it has instructions, but no one needs instructions. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And I'm gonna leave those other four there just because those are good. Okay, so now we can go back to products and you can see right here, we have our products in the store. And so if I click on it, even though I clicked that, I didn't want this description, uh, I'm gonna get rid of that um, and come back that, to that in a second, but I'm gonna get rid of that description for right now. But you can see our products are in the store. And so if we were to go back to our online store right here, let's go here and click customize. And we should be able, click our homepage, click our products, and it will show us default product, and there we go, there's our product. It looks actually a lot better than I thought it would. Um, but let's go ahead and start customizing. Now we know we're a beauty store. Let's go ahead and choose a name. So you can just pick something on the top of your head, but if you're really struggling, you can go to a website like name, lick, and you can enter keywords to do with your products. I'm gonna enter beauty, beauty brush and maybe makeup and see what it gives us and click generate um, you can do whatever i'm just going to click auto i'm going to go medium randomness and click generate and here we go here's some names brushage diamore chemise radiant pops swanky skins Shona, that's not bad. Operize, Beauty Brusher, that's not bad as well. Rose Pink, Skinsky. So just take a second and go through what you like. Um, don't overthink it here, don't spend too long. But try to get something that's a bit broad just because if you do change your product and that's not a winning product, you want something that's not ideally tied to a certain type of product. So I'm just gonna go with this one right here. It says cosmetic couture. So that sounds quite fancy. And I think that will go nice with our brand to show it's more of a luxury brand as well. So I'm gonna take this one, cosmetic couture. Um, hopefully I'm pronouncing that, probably butchering it. So let's go ahead and go back to our settings, change our name for our store here. So uh, cosmetic couture. Tour. Click save and that is our new store name. All right, let's start designing our store. So I'm gonna click online store right here and click customize. So the first thing I wanna do is change this announcement bar. So you can just click on that and then you can see it says welcome to our store. I actually like to put some sort of sale or something like that and it really doesn't matter what type of sale. It doesn't even matter if there's a holiday. It can be a spring sale, a summer sale. So I'm going to do whatever holiday is nearest to me right now and let's just do easter sale 10 percent off something like that um and then i'm gonna go back and as you go along and you're doing this make sure to click save progressively because you do not want your hard work especially if you're just learning right now um, and the next thing i'm going to do is start changing these awful colors um, and so actually i'm the first thing i'm going to do is get rid of half the stuff so you can see it says featured products right there um, I, I actually don't want that and i want to tell you why in a second so uh, let's go through i'm going to get rid of this featured product right here you can just click this i right here so it doesn't show up and so now we just have the subscribe to our emails. You can keep that there if you want. 
And then the first thing I'm gonna do is add a picture right here. So you can just click right here and you can click select image or you can explore their own images. They actually have a database of pretty good pictures. So you wanna find something that represents your brand. In this case, it's a beauty brand. So I'm just gonna type in something like beauty, see what comes up. You can also go to websites like Pexels to find royalty free images or even videos if you want. But I'm just gonna go here and see what comes on beauty. Ideally, I want a picture of maybe a woman's face or something like that. So I quite like this one, so I'm gonna click this one right here. Yeah, that one's quite nice actually. Even though that doesn't necessarily make sense with a makeup brush, it doesn't matter. Um, it's just for really for the aesthetic at this point. Um, so I'm gonna click ahead and click that. I quite like that, click select. And uh, I'm gonna actually just tinker with this for a little bit. Click edit right here, just because I want it more in focus. So I'm gonna set the focal point to a face, obviously, because I want them to be able to look into the eyes of the person. There we go, I quite like that. And now let's go ahead and change this text right here. So you just have to click on everything, um, browse our latest products. So I would use this as your tagline. Again, if you're not the most creative person, just use a website like ChatGPT and type in a prompt like, give me a tagline for makeup brushes. So I'm just gonna type in something like, Never be stuck without your makeup brushes again. Actually, you know what? That's probably better for the tagline underneath. Let's just do something like ladies for the boss lady on the go because women seem to like that um, and then i'm going to just make that a little bit smaller for the boss lady on to go i'm going to go back there that's quite good um then i'm going to add a block here i'm going to add a text block that should already be there most of the time so i'm going to go ahead move that up i'm going to go ahead change that pasting what i just had it never Never be stuck, that's horrible grammar. Never be stuck without your makeup brushes again. Probably something better like that if you have more time, but this is just for the sake of it. Never be stuck without your br makeup brushes again. There we go. Um, and so I think I quite like that. Now let's go about changing this awful background color. So all we have to do is click theme settings right here and click colors. And so you want to color coordinate this just because this is the beauty store for me. I'm gonna try to go with beauty colors. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna tinker around with this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is change the background colors. So I think I wanna go with more of a sort of a light pink hue. So I quite like this one right here. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that because I'm gonna copy these over and just see how these look. So I copy that, whoops. Go ahead, click that, copy that in, click that, copy that in, oh. And that's why I check it. Yeah, I actually do not want that owl. That's that's way over the top. And a background too, what I'm gonna do is change it because I wanna create a little bit of a contrast. So maybe a sort of baby blue in there. I think it's nice. Again, I am not an artist by any means. So you can actually type in color palette combos to find exact colors that work. I'm just doing this very, very quickly, but find something that really works to look professional. Okay, so that's a quick rundown of the page. I think that looks looking pretty good so far. What I advise always to do is switch to the mobile mode just because most of the time people are gonna be purchasing on, your, on their cell phone anyway. So just make sure it looks good on the cell phone as well. So that's easy, reasonable. Honestly, most of the time this is not too important. Really, the most important thing is your product page because when you link it in anything you do, you're gonna link directly to the product page. So let's go ahead and move to the product page real quick. 
Okay, and you can see here, I've just done the exact same thing, going in and customize it and gave them this kind of baby blue accent right here. I think it looks really, really good. Again, you don't need to overthink this. I'm, I'm gonna add a description. I'm gonna get rid of this section right here, re related products, just because we don't need this. You can add another section here if you have a featured product, or if you wanna add like a video, anything like that, or some sort of banner, you can. But honestly, don't overthink it, guys. And again, let's switch that to the mobile mode, and you can see, I think it looks quite good. So you can see if you scroll through, it'll go through like that, and people can go through and individually choose. I think it looks quite good. Good. you can go through the only thing I don't like is how this is looking right here I don't like that it's cut off but that doesn't matter anyway because I'm gonna go through through and change my logo okay so now let's go back to our product page and make some ch quick changes to the actual product so we want to give it a description one of the biggest things we can do is either go to chat GPT or look at competitors and what they are advertising in their description to give us an idea or if it's good enough we can go to Aliexpress and just reword it ourselves you can see this one actually has a lot of good pictures so I'd even think about putting some of that in there but you don't need to worry about that for now. I'm just going to go and look ahead and probably actually just go to ChatGPT and get a description written for me. Okay, so I literally just got ChatGPT to write that for me really quickly and make it into bullet point list. So that looks pretty good. Apart from that, there's not really much I need to change here just because I've done everything before pulling it in. So I'm just going to click hit save right here and just have one more time to double check to see what our page actually looks like. Okay, so now you can see we have our product description, which is great. Um, you don't really need this share thing in here so I'm actually going to get rid of the share because you just don't need that for now. Now another thing I want to do is quickly go down to navigation and just change our pages slightly. So you can see that here's the main menu pages. You can see it says catalog and contact. I'm just going to edit this. I don't actually want to call catalog. I just want it call um, by now. And so you can see you can link it to your specific product. So you can see it's already linked to all products. So I'm just want to there that's fine and click product there and i'm going to click our actual product and that is great get out of here click apply changes and so here's our contact page we can edit that as well and so we don't actually have a contact page in here right now so what we need to do is go back here and click pages but first well, I already broke the rule, click save. Um, so go here and click pages and let's go ahead and create some pages real quick. So you can see here's a contact page and you can just write something super simple. If you have any questions, please reach out to us via email to contact at Cause I already forgot the name, cosmetic couture. Com. And so you can actually, if you buy the domain through Shopify, you can actually set these up, which is really nice to have this extension. And so I'm just gonna click hit save right here, go back. And so that's, that looks great. I'm gonna click add page right here as well. That's great. And so now we can head back to our navigation now, and you should be able to see if you click main menu and we click contact and edit, a contact page should show up right here, but we can click pages right here and it will show all of them. So if I click contact, apply that, it should be fine. So there is one more thing I wanna do on this quick crash course, and that's add some social proof. So I'm gonna add some reviews right now. So let's go exit and go to apps and type in Ali reviews. So I'm just gonna download the Trust2 product and Ali reviews. Again, like I said, it doesn't really matter. Click that add to store. Click start, and so I'm just gonna put it in the grid layout just because I kind of like that. You can have a list, but I like grid. Um, I'm gonna light color, star color, yeah, that's fine. I could have it to go with a theme with the pink. You can see there how you can customize it. But I kind of I like the idea of still having the yellow stars just because I feel like that's classic. Click next, um, and so I just want it on our product page for right now. Show stars without reviews, okay, great. Um, <clears throat> before you can have it shown after as well but it's fine i'm gonna click skip for now percentage off skip that as well i want the free plan so i'm not going to change that for now so that's fine with me i'm going to hit import reviews
And marketing, probably the second hardest thing after finding a profitable product is being able to get those visitors and actually drive them to your store to make sales. Well, in this method, I'm pretty much gonna go with everyone else and that's general consensus is right now, TikTok. So hopefully by the time you're watching this, TikTok isn't banned, but I'm gonna suggest using TikTok. And this is amazing for two reasons. Firstly, if you do not have a budget, you can post organic viral videos every single day completely for free. I've seen people being able to take their stores to almost six figures by doing absolutely no paid ads. The second, when you do decide to run paid ads, you can convert those already viral videos that you did organically and make them into paid ads. This way you guarantee you already have a video that's doing well. And these ads are still in its infancy stages. They are not expensive like Facebook ads are today. So it's super easy and super affordable and really really easy to scale. Now, if you need ideas about content creation, just look what your competitors are doing, look what's doing well, and make sure you follow viral trends. This will give you every chance of succeeding and having your video blow up. If you wanna see a longer in-depth explanation how to market your video, you can watch my video right here. I did an hour, over an hour, I think, in-depth video on how to start drop shipping video, so you can watch that right after this if you're serious. Or if you just want another fun video to watch, you can watch my experiment right here, or where I try to do drop shipping on Amazon and failed miserably.